Hi guys, I want to talk about product safety. I feel like this is lately the question I get the most often and I am spending so much of my limited Plexus time answering messages about product safety. So this is long overdue. We really need to have a talk about it. And um, what I want to do is in the thread of this video, I want to post all of the resources that are going to help you have confidence when you're answering people's questions. So you'll have people asking about FDA approval and why aren't the products approved by the FDA. Hopefully you've done your research and you know that no vitamin product or supplement product is regulated by the FDA. In other words, we're neither approved or disapproved by the FDA because the FDA does not deal in supplements. That does not mean that a product isn't safe. It simply means that it's out of the FDA's scope. So that leaves us with um, having to do our research and what we do have are ingredients lists and we can turn to reputable sources like um, medical databases, PubMed, M NCBI, look up these ingredients and really find out what their effect is on the body. Sometimes I hear people saying, oh, well, there aren't long-term studies on these products, so I don't feel good about taking them. Um, these ingredients in these products have been around for centuries. They have been ingested as food for centuries. And we have, we have studies. We can find studies on all of these ingredients to support their use and to show how beneficial and safe they are. So it's just a matter of knowing how to find those studies on those ingredients. But once you find them, you can see that they've been, they've been consumed as food for centuries. It's not like with a drug, where a drug um, produces harmful metabolites as it's digested and broken down by the body, and it can pose threats to the system. So that's why a drug needs a large-scale, long-term study to determine the um, possible negative side effects it could have on the body. This is not like that. This is not a drug. These are natural natural ingredients that the body recognizes and breaks down as food. Um, what else did I want to bring up with you guys? Um, the only thing we have to be um, aware of, I guess, is when our potential customers are taking other other drugs, actual drugs, if they're on medications, those really do have the potential to mess with their system. And so if somebody does take a lot of medications and they're considering starting a Plexus product, we do want to tell them to take that label to their doctor, have their doctor look it over. If their doctor doesn't recognize the ingredients and says, oh, I don't think you should take that, I don't know what stevia is, which I have had doctors say that. It's kind of unfortunate that they are that unaware sometimes, but not every doctor is like that. Um, but that's where we can send our customers the studies that we have. I also want to tell you one more thing and then we'll start filling up this thread with information so that you can be confident and you can feel empowered that you are recommending a safe and effective product to people. But what I wanted to tell you is I have talked to our product department and I've gotten to hear firsthand how picky they are before they put anything in these products. They will not put an ingredient in a Plexus product unless it has proven through multiple medical studies to be beneficial and safe for the body. Um, so for example, I asked them one time, the product department, why there's no aloe in the children's vitamin. And they said they couldn't find enough studies to support it, so they didn't use it plain and simple. They're very, very careful. The facility where our products are manufactured is here in the United States and it is quarantined facility where they test our ingredients for purity multiple times. They test our products for um, purity after they're manufactured before they go onto the market. So it is the best possible scenario we could ask for as far as offering a product to people that is safe and reliable. I want to encourage you about that. Now, I'm going to start filling up this comment thread with lots and lots of resources so that you can have that at your disposal.